The most important job for us at IBM is to understand our customers' needs and to provide computing systems which give our customers the competitive edge they demand. We have been and will continue to focus on lowering the total cost of computing and enabling new and existing applications in an open distributed environment while maintaining System 390's classic strengths. VM is a part of that focus, an enterprise server providing data security, integrity, manageability, wide-reaching connectivity and scalability, data access and distribution, file sharing, well, you name it, we've kind of been there and done it, and have spent 20 years refining it and getting better at it with each release. With that history and our continued focus, you can count on VM for the future. That's why we're here today, to let you know what's coming up in our new version of VMESA. In fact, we believe that VMESA version 2 release 1 will prove to be the right solution to your ever-changing business needs. Because in today's corporate environment, you never know which way the winds might be blowing. When you go sailing, you have to plan for every eventuality before you leave the dock. You take multiple sails so that if the wind changes, you can have just the right sails for the condition. You keep the boat in top working condition at all times so that you can count on it to work when you need it the most. When we build VM, we do this too. When we ship the next version of VM, VM ESA Open Edition, in the second half of 1995, we'll deliver the open distributed function that our customers have been asking us for. A function that will allow them to connect their VM systems to other workstations in their computing environment. We'll also ship a unique graphical user interface for CMS. These and other functions that will come with the new VM ESA will help us take the system into the future. In the long history of sailing, the basic design of a sailboat hasn't changed much. You still need a sail, a sturdy hull, and a wheel and helms person to steer the boat. The classic strengths of a boat designed hundreds of years ago are the same ones that exist today. When VM was created in the 1970s, its developers worked from the same philosophy. In this case, to build an operating system with its own classic strengths, evolving around interactive computing, guest support for multiple operating systems, and client-server computing. In the next few minutes, VM users will share their experiences of how VM's original design continues to provide a firm foundation on which to build business applications. And you'll also hear how later this year, IBM will release VM ESA version 2, which will assist in taking your company through uncharted waters. Timken was founded by Henry Timken uh, in 1899, about four years after he invented the tapered roller bearing. We're a Fortune uh, 500 firm. We have about 16,000 employees in over 100 uh, plus plants and manufacturing facilities around the world. In the steel business unit, there's at least 100 different applications that are critically tied to our business processes. Everything from order entry to customer complaint. Thousands and thousands of notes are produced every day on email. We um, interface with customers and end users every day outside of the Timken Company with VM, telling them when their particular product will be shipped. VM is the one place where everybody comes together and works bearings, steel, or corporate centers setting a direction. The NEIC is in the business of helping insurance regulators in each of the 50 states and U.S. territories to basically protect policyholders. We made the decision to go to VM primarily because it was a, a good low-cost alternative for decision support. We've got a, a database with about 250 billion characters worth of regulatory data and 90% of our workload is decision support and we felt like that was the best operating system to support that environment. 
3M Healthcare is really comprised of several uh, divisions that service a uh, similar market. Uh, the divisions are manufacturing products that are used primarily in uh, operating rooms. We have a, nearly a floor of people keying data in a head-down mode in, into our VM system for the rebate system, for the order entry system, and um, for the dealer tracing system. We've been using VM for about 11 years now. Uh, I think that the capability of, of having a, an operating environment where most of your effort goes into your applications and very little effort goes into actually maintaining the product itself really has allowed us to, to be very fleet-footed. Nationwide Insurance Company is um, made up of a number of smaller, uh, diverse companies around the country. We employ approximately 35,000 people uh, nationwide. We use a, a large amount of uh, office vision for electronic communication between people within the home office as well as agents and uh, other services, uh, service personnel who are distributed around the country. VM was very powerful, uh, multi person operating system and that's what Nationwide was looking for. As you can see, just as each business is unique, so are the ways users employ some of VM's classic strengths. One is VM's guest operating system support for test, migration, and production with increased resource sharing and improved cost effectiveness and as a platform for open access and client server. We've built uh, uh, a homegrown application called PC Share, where we can put PC files up on VM and be downloaded uh, to other PCs. Um, other ways we're investigating is the use of TCP IP and doing file transfer, again, from one box to another. And you know, there, you're not just limited to the PC, but any of our um, processors. We've developed two client server systems that, again, use all the the data investment that we have in VM and SQLDS and download those in the server environments where we can uh, process customer orders and maintain uh, pricing systems. To facilitate your move into client server, VMESA contains LandRes and LFS. Land Resource Extension and Services provides disk, print, data distribution, and administrative services for local area networks running NetWare. And land file services allow workstation file formats to be stored on the VM host and shared among users on OS2 LANs, TCP IP links, and CMS in a rapid, transparent fashion. And to ensure data protection and integrity, VMESA offers ADSM, AdStar Distributed Storage Manager, a client server program, which provides host service for backing up data files from workstations and personal computers. The PC culture is to take a backup and put it on a floppy disk and perhaps take it home, but that's not really a secure environment f for a business like 3Ms. We really need a secure backup facility, so we're using ADSM to get at our diverse population of, of clients and servers. One of the th pilots that we've been involved in at Nationwide has been uh, ADSM for backing up our our workstation populations to the host to ASD and to tape in order to provide a centralized location for all of the many lands and and workstations that are sitting out there lands and workstations and diverse platforms are now a way of life in the ever-changing corporate environment where communication is key but often difficult you name it and we have a little bit of it uh, we have uh, all kinds of operating systems, we have all kinds of hardware, we have all kinds of software, whether you're talking about at the PC level, the mid-range. We have HP equipment, we have DEC equipment, we have NCR equipment. Uh, I think we still even have some Wang equipment around. We have uh, lots of different uh, workstation environments from DOS Windows, OS2. The information is currently downloaded to an OS2 platform, to an RS6000 platform, to a VAX cluster, and to uh, HP platform. 
um, one of the difficulties has been simply moving the data across the various protocols. The solution to the problem? Open Edition VM, a critical part of VM ESA version 2. It will provide support for open system standards through the distributed computing environment and the portable operating system interface. The significance for VM of doing these new uh, standards is really that it broadens, um, broadens our openness considerably. In the past, VM has supported a number of different standards um, that made VM seem somewhat open. But the, the openness system-wide or even enterprise-wide across a variety of systems was catch-as-catch-can because not every vendor or every product would always um, conform to each of the standards, even though VM might. What's important about these new standards, the DCE and POSIX standards, is that they're being adopted by a much broader uh, range of people in the industry, both other mainframe vendors, workstation vendors, and uh, vendors who create application products are all joining on the bandwagon for DCE and POSIX, which makes uh, the openness much broader across the entire system and across the entire enterprise. We price orders both on a server environment and we reprice them in the mainframe. Uh, this is because certain orders come into the, into the VM mainframe, uh, like electronic orders, and that those need to have their own pricing routine. Uh, this is a problem for us in a, in a development shop, maintaining a very complex pricing structure in two different environments. So our hope is to write a single pricing application and call that from wherever it's appropriate. And for independent software vendors who over the years have provided database management systems and thousands of industry applications and solutions, VMESA version 2 provides a new world of possibilities. Sterling Software is uh, one of the largest independent software vendors uh, in the market today. Um, it's around about a $450 million company. Open Edition VM is a major uh, enhancement to VM because it allows uh, application vendors to easily port applications to the VM environment. So what you're creating is an a situation where a user can choose which platform to run a specific business application on and to the vendor it reduces the amount of uh, development and support overhead there is in supporting multiple platforms. So it then really comes down to a question of choice, which is the most cost effective platform to run a specific business application. Along with Open Edition, VMESA version 2 will give workstation end users a new look through a graphical user interface for CMS. Now users accustomed to OS2, Microsoft Windows, AIX and HP Unix will have a consistent look and feel between their workstations and their CMS user interface. Right now, a lot of people when they have workstations and they use VM, they just have a 3270 emulator and a big screen that makes it look like a 3270 terminal. And then when they get inside of there, it's no real difference. They're not really using the power of the workstation or the workstation environment. When we add this graphical user interface to VM, you'll be able to put up Windows, for example, under OS2, but in other platforms also, and be able to use those as an OS2 user would, or maybe a Microsoft Windows user would use their Windows. Our users already are demanding a graphical user interface. In fact, often they'll have that interface in their own home. So it's really a move in the right direction for VM. And System 390 customers who have function-rich applications based on 3270 data streams can now give their applications a facelift through Visual Lift, which provides end users with point-and-click, workstation screens, and a mouse. Plus, VM is also improved with the addition of dynamic configuration management, so you can modify the I.O. configuration of a System 390 processor without disturbing the system. And your investment with VM is protected, because this new version of VMESA works with System 390 servers of all sizes, including the industry-leading System 390 Parallel Enterprise Server with CMOS technology. Healthcare reform is driving rapid change in our industry. VM, I think, is a, an operating system that allows us to keep up with that change, meet the new demands that we see every day in our marketplace. It allows us as analysts to stay closer to the business people's needs and, and to focus less on 
the, um, the technical details of keeping the system running. Its potential for being a client or for a server in a client server orientation is great. Its interactive abilities are second to none. There is no operating system I know of that can support the number of users with the diverse uh, the diversity of programs and applications that VM can support. We use VM as the, uh, the glue that holds everything together. Like the fierce competition at the America's Cup, the battle for supremacy in business can be affected by unforeseen obstacles, shifting winds, waters that change from calm to treacherous, rivals who force you to chart new courses. But VMESA version 2 gives you the power and flexibility to deal with these challenges to help take your company into the future.